guys, this is Miss S, and today we're going to be going over very basic human proportions and measurements. Um, this isn't going to be a comprehensive guide. Uh, there are a lot of details that go into drawing a human proportionately, um, but this is a good step if you're like a beginner, if you're a little bit daunted by how much goes into drawing a person. Um, it'll just be kind of like a simple little stepping stone to building your artistic abilities further. Um, so a couple things about drawing humans the with the correct measurements and things like that. Uh, first off, there's a bunch of different body types, okay? Um, there's a regular slash normal body type, and in order to measure these things out, we don't use feet or things like that. We actually use heads, because how am I supposed to draw feet? <laughs> Uh, not actual feet, but the measurement when I'm drawing. So we use heads when we're drawing people. And the normal slash regular body type is about seven and a half heads tall. But as an artist, that's pretty difficult to draw. Um, so we normally result into an idealistic body type, okay, which is eight heads tall. So what we're going to start off with is a line at the top and a line at the bottom with a line right down the center. And the top line is the top of my head and the bottom line is the bottom of my feet. Um, this will change, of course, however tall you make it is how tall your person is going to be. Um, and again, going with the different, you know, seven and a half, eight heads tall, it entirely depends on what type of person or body type that you want to be drawing. Um, some people, a lot of times in the fashion uh, industry, they draw their human uh, bodies like nine heads tall. So there's no wrong or right way, you just want to be very aware of what you're drawing and what the different um, proportions are, okay? I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so that way you can see it a little bit better. And let's go ahead and start drawing our different measurements, okay? So again, bottom of my feet, top of my head. So what I'm going to do is right here in the center, okay? I'm just kind of eyeballing it and that's okay. The center line is going to be the hips, okay? Now, what's great is I'm only going to be really using halfway and a third, so I'm going to go halfway here at the top, and that's going to be the center of my chest. So halfway from the head to the hips is the center of the chest, and then I'm going to be working with a third, which is nice because I've already put where the halfway is, so to figure out the third, I just have to split those in half. So this first line in between the head and the chest, those are going to be the top of your shoulders. Okay, and then halfway through the chest and the hips, that is going to be your belly button or your navel. Okay, now what's nice is drawing this circle here, there's my first head. And you can count them out, I already have four on top, which means I'll have four on the bottom here. Okay, I am going to include a halfway line between the hips and the feet in just a moment. Uh, this is going to be my knees. Okay. But we don't have to draw all the rest of the lines because we already have our eight heads. We know how tall it's supposed to be. We've already kind of broken down everything into the different measurements that we're going to be working with. Okay. Now when it comes to doing the head, you want to make sure that you include a neck. <laughs> okay. The heads don't just sit directly on top of the shoulders. Um, the shoulders are going to be about two and a half heads wide. Um, which again is a little bit on the difficult side to measure it out, especially if you're just eyeballing it. And it also depends on the person. Uh, for me, example, I have very slender shoulders. Uh, so mine are going to be less than two and a half heads. Uh, bodybuilders or swimmers or other athletic builds, uh, they're going to have three heads. Okay. So again, it just depends on the person, but again, going with that regular slash quote unquote normal body type, we're going to go in here and do our best just to kind of eye out two and a half heads. I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, that's good. <laughs> uh, using that line that we had drawn halfway between the top of the head and the chest, we're going to draw our shoulders. Now the shoulders are going to go right on the outside of those extra heads <laughs> that we gave our person. Um, generally speaking, the hips are going to be as wide as the shoulders. Again, this is not for everyone, okay? Uh, but this is one of the most common body types. But there's going to be people that have wider hips, uh, once again, smaller shoulders, way wide shoulders, and a really small pair of hips. It, you know, it varies from person to person. But I'm going to go ahead and draw a line down here. 
going to attach them. So now my hips line up with my shoulders. Okay. Next way, uh, up, we're going to figure out how wide or how narrow my waist needs to come in. So the way that we do that is we go from the outside of the shoulders to the middle of the uh, hips slash like crotch area um, and we just draw a triangle. Okay, so we connect it like that and then we're going to go from the hips up to the neck. We're going to hit that middle line and there we have our waist going in. Okay, that top triangle at the, you know, from the sh uh, shoulders to the crotch area, that is where our rib cage is. Okay, so where this kind of go in, goes in, that's where the rib cage ends, and then it goes out into the hips. Next up, we're going to do the legs. We're actually going to break the legs up into two different shapes. The first one is going to be another triangle, just like this one, going from the hips to the feet. This is going to be the outside of our thighs. So it's not including our calves. Our calves <laughs> are not that skinny. Um, so we have to include another shape going in for the calves. Okay. So we're actually going to be working with mm, a really, really skinny oval. <laughs> um, let me just kind of sketch out a basic shape. I'll kind of redo it to make sure that it's working. Uh, but you're going to draw, let me clean this up a little bit. <laughs> but you're going to draw an oval going from the hips down to the feet. Okay, And they'll intersect with that triangle we drew right at that line that we marked for the knees. Okay, So that is where our thighs go in and then our calves come back out. Okay, So we have going from the shoulders into the waist, into the hips, into the thighs, and then into the calves. As for the arms, they're going to be starting right with the uh, shoulders. Uh, the first part of your arm, your bicep, <laughs> uh, the it's going to go all the way down to the navel. Okay, so your elbow lines up with your belly button. Okay, and then the forearm, the bottom part of your arm, the wrist is going to line up with the hips. And then last but not least, your hand is actually your fingertips go all the way down halfway down your thigh okay so I know that this looks weird this weird little geometric three-headed <laughs> human like well I guess you could call it human like uh, creature uh, but now I'm going to show you how you can use it to let, let's, ask, let's actually make a person okay <laughs> I'm gonna be using my same little measurements so I won't be talking too much other than a couple of little notes. Here we got our, our half, our half, our half, our half. <laughs> Go in, make the face. We're still not adding in a bunch of details. Uh, those will come in later videos. Right now we're just working on proportions. Drawing out the shoulders here. I have a sneaking feeling that my head might be a little small. Oop, wait, can't go. I have to, whoopsies, I have to do my triangle first. <laughs> so I have to go from my shoulders down to my hips. going to quickly sketch it this time. I'm going to draw in some of the pectorals, how they interact with the rib cage. Yeah, just as I thought. I think <laughs> I think this head's a little small, but that's okay. And again, we're just sketching. This is just to get some basics down. 
don't have to worry about perfection. Give them some ankles and feet. Now another big thing is you would generally, oh let's give them some shorts. <laughs> um, you would also, so you'll notice that the, the legs are looking pretty stocky, okay? Uh, you would also include um, kind of like the, the way that the calves kind of curl like that out of the thighs, uh, they do the same on the inside, okay? Where your knees are, your leg kind of comes inward, um, so they wouldn't look as thick as they do right now. <laughs> Got one arm in. The way he is standing looks really uncomfortable. <laughs> But that's all right. Give him some toes. So yeah. So again, this is this is such a basic thing. <laughs> um, this isn't an end all. This is how you draw humans, things like that. This is just um, a way that you know I learned how to do it growing up, and you know once you start noticing things as you're drawing. Um, you know, you'll, you'll pick up on stuff. You'll realize, oh, I didn't realize that the arms do that or that the legs do that or, hey, I didn't know that those are the same length, okay? Um, so you'll be able to find out, you know, a bunch of different things. The important thing is that if you're working from, you know, weird shapes like this or if you're working from stock photos, um, a live person, you know, you're doing a uh, life drawing, um, just make sure that you're not just mindlessly drawing something, okay? Make sure that as you're drawing, you're noticing the little nuances of this or that and things like that. Uh, you'll be able to start including things like perspective, as I am apparently doing right now with these huge feet. <laughs> um, and apparently, eventually it'll all come together. Um, but there's a bunch of different ways to draw humans. This is just one of them. Uh, but hopefully it was very helpful for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I have a lot more coming out, and I hope to see you there. Bye.